All right, guys, this is a video of my MacBook Pro that I just got, as well as my SSD modification project. Um, yep, I got myself a new MacBook Pro. I love it to death. It's the quad core. It has uh, the Retina display, as well as 8 gigs of RAM, and I believe a 200, uh, 240 gigabyte hard SSD hard drive. This thing is completely fast, but the, it lacks a lot of the um, ports that I'm used to having. It really only has Thunderbolt and USB. And uh, so, for editing videos, I want like extremely fast encoding times um, with Final Cut Pro. So I got myself a SSD drive, and I wanted to use Thunderbolt, which it's it. Thunderbolt is a very expensive technology for me. Uh, luckily, I got this Seagate Thunderbolt adapter. This is um supposed to be used for their GoFlex hard drive line, which is this guy right here. This one's supposedly defective, but I plugged it in and there's nothing wrong with it. So, got myself a nice um, 500 gigabyte drive for like $25. Uh, the only thing wrong with it was the, the USB 3 cable is kind of faulty. But what I want to do is use this SSD drive instead of this 500 gigabyte drive with this adapter. Basically with this with this adapter down that that's just a um, SATA port adapter. Um, well right now I'm going to pause the video so I can plug this in. Actually, I think I can plug it in without it. Yeah, yeah let me pause the video real quick. Alrighty, I got the hard drive plugged in. Um, the only thing that bothers me when you do it like this I mean, this, this is a functional external hard drive, uh, and it does use the Thunderbolt adapter. But if you look at it, it's it's flimsy. It's floating in midair. It does not look safe. Like, I wouldn't take this out of my house. I wouldn't even take it off the desk. Um, even holding it like this is kind of making me nervous. But I just quickly, quickly wanted to show you the, the speeds of this drive. Um, so... There we go, I got the uh, Blackmagic this speed test app running. Uh, I'm actually look, looking through the camera. Let me look at my screen and select the hard drive. All right, so this is how fast it is. It's actually faster than the stock MacBook Pro. So this is the SSD drive. Look at the read on that, that's amazing. Right is 310. That's that's freaking phenomenal. Well, now it jumped up to 357. So right now, this external hard drive has faster reads and writes than the SSD that's inside of my MacBook Pro. Um, but let me pause that real quick. And since I do have the USB 3 cable, and there's an adapter on on this hard drive, let me see if I can take it off. There we go. So pretty much. What these GoFlex hard drives are are just that you can see the SATA port inside, and you can buy different adapters. This one came with a USB 3 port, so I'm going to plug this SSD into this USB 3 port and then show you speed test on that real quick. So let me pause the video. All right, so I got the SSD drive. I cannot touch it because this cable is faulty. I have the SSD drive plugged into the USB 3 adapter, which is plugged into the USB 3 port on my computer. So, I'm going to run this test, and this is probably going to be the last time I use that cable. I just wanted to show you guys um, how fast it is with USB compared to the Thunderbolt. Uh, it's hard to talk and click at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to start this test. I know it's going to be a lot slower. So, with the USB 3, it's like more than half as slow so and the read is also half as slow so I wasn't really surprised with that but oh here we go that's the faulty USB cable at its best so that's the quick test on that let me go ahead and unplug it before it screws up my whole hard drive and let me just show you about this drive what I want to do let me just get everything. I want to put this drive inside of 
this enclosure because as you saw earlier even though this works together it's not safe this is so thin and flimsy it's gonna break off so what I'm going to do is I saw a couple of videos on YouTube on how to use like a credit card to pry this thing open what I'm gonna do is do the same thing take the old hard drive out put the new one in and save the old hard drive as a backup. I mean, it is a 500 gigabyte drive, so it's going to come in use, uh, usefulness, or it's going to be pretty useful. So, I think it's 500. Yeah, it is 500. Cool. So, guys, this is my MacBook setup, um, and what you're going to witness is my SSD external hard drive project, and that's pretty much. This is all going to be used for just like Final Cut Pro and any music editing I'm doing. And as well as any photo editing, I'm gonna try and get as big as re oh, excuse me, I got a burp. Uh, I gotta get like a huge resolutions because I have a wide format printer. If I can get like extremely large raw files on here and print from that, that'd be awesome. Save some resources on my laptop. So that's this what that's what this drive is, just a slave to all my um, heavy apps. But thank guys, thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll do another review on the enclosure on this. Let's show you the insides and all that. All right.